Hello everyone. So we shall start a new chapter called club accounts or as we can say it not for profit organizations. Okay, up till now we've taken a look at the AS course and also the first chapter in our A2 course, but we have mostly focused on profit making organizations. We shall now take a look at not for profit organizations or those entities that do not serve to make a profit but actually exist to provide services to its members some of the example of a not for profit organization could be sports and social clubs for example we can have a cricket club that exists that members can come and play cricket over there all right so we can have dramatic societies or music clubs now the idea is this that these clubs will make money they will generate revenue but that revenue will essentially be there to pay expenditures of that club right so these clubs will not distribute any surplus or profit over there to members as dividends which a profit making entity will do so if we compare it to a limited company that would make profit they would distribute that profit as dividends but a club would not do that they would rather reinvest that money for growth and expansion of that organization and the organization will be owned by its members and it will not have a particular owner just like a sole trader partnership or limited company would have and the club would exist for the members only right so some of the terminologies would change when we are comparing a profit making organization to a not for profit making organization Let's take a look at some of the terminologies that you guys need to get used to now. Right. So instead of the word income statement, you guys sh should now use the word income and expenditure account. So for a not for profit making organization, income statement will be called income and expenditure account. There will be no such word as profit or loss, net profit or loss for the club. Rather than that, we will use words such as surplus of income or deficit of income over expenditure right the word capital or equity will be replaced since there is no owner and th and the new word that we will use is called accumulated fund and for the bank account we will now use the word receipt and payment i will show that very soon how the receipt and payment account will look like it's essentially replacing the word bank account sales so a profit making entity will have sales but a not for profit making organization will have subscriptions we will d obviously discuss subscription in very detail but for the time being you guys can think of subscription to be the membership fee accruals the word accruals will now be replaced by arrears so if there is any outstanding amount for subscription we'll use the word arrears and if there is any prepayments made we will use the word in advance so we're essentially referring to subscription that's your membership fee on which a not for profit making organization would operate all right now let's discuss a bit more about the difference between capital and accumulated fund so capital is the word when we use it for a profit making entity but now for a not for profit organization the new word that we shall use is accumulated fund capital basically belongs to the owner but as we know a not for profit making organization will not have owners so accumulated fund essentially represents the surpluses built over the number of years so you guys should recall that profit gets added to the capital and your capital keeps on increasing similarly whatever surplus that the club generates gets added to this accumulated fund over here that represents the entire organization's net worth now obviously profit will increase capital similarly any surplus will increase your accumulated fund losses or drawings should reduce capital any deficit we cannot have drawings over here so members cannot withdraw from the club but we can have deficits right so the deficits can decrease the accumulated fund right so that's the difference between capital an accumulated fund okay now the essential part the income statement will now be replaced with the income and expenditure account i will discuss income and expenditure in the next video in detail but the income and expenditure serves the same purpose as income statement all revenue incomes 
and revenue expenditure. Remember, capital incomes and capital expenditure do not go into the income statement and they will also not go into the income and expenditure account. By capital incomes, I mean one-off income such as raising funds. Capital expenditure would be buying an asset. So we only include those incomes and expenditures which are recurring in nature. Right? Now the final thing, the receipt and payment account. So remember this replaces your bank account. So it essentially looks like the bank account. All receipts should go to the debit side and all payments should go to the credit side. So if you have a positive balance, balance BD, which could be cash at bank or cash in hand, it will come on the debit side. Any inflows, whether that inflow is in the form of donations, membership fee, if you're selling an asset, refreshments, if you're running a cafe or a restaurant shop, anything that generates inflow will go on the debit side. Any outflows, purchase of assets, salaries, rent, other expenses will all go on the credit side. And you calculate the balance carried down, which also becomes your balance brought down over here. And if there is an overdraft, then you should see a balance brought down on the credit side. All right, so these are some of the changes. Now in the next video, I will discuss the sources of funds and expenditure so that we can see how an income and expenditure would look like for a not-for-profit organization.